Here is a 4x4 circle door thingy. Here's what you need. And this is how you build it. So first you want to make a circle door frame that is 4 high and 4 wide. Then you want to make this layout. Okay, then we can actually start wiring this thing. So place four blocks at the bottom, like this, then two, like this, then a slab, slab, door block, slab, slab, and a block. Then just put redstone dust on all of those, and target blocks right here, and right here. Then place obsidian right here, and if we place a lever here, and flick it, you will see that the singles do actually work. Nice. So usually the way you do zero tick chaining in these kinds of doors is that you keep this piston extended for three block events. So basically three piston movements, but you keep it from extending by using like an immovable block right here. So when you retract this block, this piston actually zero ticks. As you can see there. So the way I achieve that in this door is I use a piston with a redstone block right here that powers this piston that updates this piston. So that is basically three block event delay. Then you want to place a block right there then a stair and another stair. So when this piston moves up, it updates this stair. As you can see, it changes state. And I can detect that with an observer and I use that to power this piston. And that keeps this piston from extending when we don't want it to. Anyway, then you place a block right here and a comparator right here that's reading from a composter that's filled three levels. You can see that in F3 right there. Then just place dust here, so basically you can see that this is on uh, signal strength 1, so it keeps these pistons on for 3 block event delay, which does the zero tick chain. And we can also use this as the input line, because it's only 3 signal strength, so it doesn't mess with anything else. Okay then, we need to depower this and this piston at 3 game ticks. So the top one is really easy, just a repeater there, and a block right there. So the repeater turns off at 2 game ticks, but this piston doesn't realize that nothing's powering it until 3 game ticks, when this piston retracts. So that's when this piston pulls this piston up. And the bottom one is also quite simple, just a piston right there, with an observer right there. So when this piston retracts, it makes this observer power at 2 game ticks, and when this retracts at 3 game ticks, it pushes it up, so making this retract at 3 game ticks. Okay, then we still need a zero tick here at 3 game ticks, and the way we do that is we use a slider right here that zero ticks this. So place two obsidian right here with dust on top, then use any block you want here and a redstone block on top. And to make this push down, we place a piston right here, then a trap door right here, then slab, then two scaffolding, observer, block, and two pistons to add block event delay. So the way this works is that when this slider starts moving up, it makes this trapdoor go up instantly, then one game tick later, this scaffolding changes its state, and then two game ticks later, this observer powers. So it's 1 plus 2 equals 3, which is the perfect timing. And then these pistons are used to add block event delay to make this push down later, basically. Okay, but now this dust is powering this piston, and we don't want that, so place an observer right here with a detector rail on top. Also, the observer is needed to update this on closing, because it doesn't get an update from anywhere else. Then lastly, we need to place a block right here with dust on top, to make the slider start extending faster on closing. Okay, but now if you place obsidian right here, this should hopefully work. Okay, nice. So then we just need to copy everything to the right side. Okay, so now if you copied everything correctly, this should hopefully work. Okay, nice. So now you can just fill in the frame if you want. And you got yourself a working door. Okay, bye.